If you are wondering what a weekend trip from Amsterdam to Ghent looks like, including the train journey there and a couple of things to do in Ghent, then this is the video for you. So let's get started. Train journey. So from Amsterdam to Ghent, there isn't actually a direct train, so you will need to change somewhere. We took a Tally's train from Amsterdam Central and changed at Antwerpen Central Station. And going there, it took one hour and 15 minutes and cost 29 euros. Now in comparison, coming back, it took one hour and 45 minutes and cost 64 euros. So from Antwerp to Ghent, we were told that we didn't need to pre-book our tickets because um, there were loads of trains going and true enough we just bought a ticket at a machine it was nine euros 90 per person and we hopped on the next train so from Antwerp and Central to Ghent St. Peter's station it took about one hour and when we got off the station was so packed I was really really taken aback by that it was a little bit crazy things to do in Ghent so let's start with the Ghent altarpiece which is also known as the adoration of the mystic lamb and basically this is just a massive painting which is located in St. Barbo's Cathedral and anyone can walk into the cathedral and have a look around but if you want to see the Ghent altarpiece this is in a separate section which you need to book tickets for and it's a very very unique experience because you are given this augmented reality headset so you pop it on your head and you see these figures and buildings come to life at first when i put this thing on it, it's a little bit heavy as well and i normally wear glasses it felt really really awkward but after a little while it feels totally fine and it's actually a really cool experience it's very informative i've never experienced anything like that before and it was definitely worth it so after you've learned about the history of the ghent altarpiece and just how many times it's been stolen and it's a lot you get to see the painting in real life and it is it is magnificent it was much bigger than i actually imagined it to be and it was very very beautiful and especially because you understand what you're looking at it really meant so much more if you are finding this video interesting please hit that like button as it will really help this channel grow thank you so much kubrons these are a cone-shaped belgian candy and they're a popular delicacy in ghent doing this video i was kind of thinking about it and you know salivating wishing i had a spare box of them because they're very very tasty they are super super sweet so you can't consume lots in one go they have this crusty outside and then they've got a soft filling inside and if you're familiar with uk sweets they are kind of similar to jelly babies you'll see carts and stands selling these on the streets of ghent and the traditional ones are purple in color but you will also see other colors too we found this shopping cafe that was selling cubidons but also lots of other regional products as well and everything was very fairly priced um, and we ended up buying several boxes of cubidons uh, chocolates and also mustard you know, get away from the touristy touristy shops and go here instead markets now by pure chance we got chatting to a bar owner and she told us about a a sort of an antiques bric-a-brac secondhand market that was taking place at by St. Jacobs and so we went along to that. I've been to a lot of markets similar to this and this one was particularly nice because you know, it was in a really nice setting, there were a wide range of items, you know, wide range of prices, it's a very relaxed atmosphere and my husband managed to pick up a uh, 1920s bottle opener in the shape of a duck and he paid 20 euros for that so yeah we were really happy in summary i think this is a fantastic weekend trip that you can make from amsterdam the train time is give or take three hours and the city is just so beautiful thank you so much for watching until next time goodbye